It's all starting to make sense now. It's all starting to become clear. The secret is out. The real reason Caitlin Clark fans cannot stand Angel Reese. The secret is out. But before we get off into today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, guys, man, I've just been set back wondering why Caitlin Clark fans dislike Angel Reese. People have been asking me, what do you think it is? Why do they treat Angel Reese the way they treat Angel Reese and have to threaten her and talk about her outside of basketball for the basketball that she displays on the basketball court? And I got to thinking, man, that's it's pretty tough, man. I really don't know. But then I started doing some research. And the funny thing that happened today was one of my um, subscribers sent me an audio clip. Now, I don't get too much off into Gil's arena. Um, sometimes Gil arena, they be having some good takes. Um, you know, Lexi Brown be on there. Sometimes she be flip flopping back and forth. And Rashard McCant, some of his takes are outlandish. Um, Brandon Jennings, um, I pretty I like him. I mean, he makes a lot of sense on some of his takes, but sometimes Rashard McCants, I just don't um understand where Rashard McCants is coming from. And that's why him and Gilbert go back and forth. Kenyon Martin be saying some things that, you know, makes a lot of sense. And him and Rashard McCants be going back and forth. And the moderator, he does a good job of, you know, keeping peace, asking the right questions and opening up the the platform for people, you know, to get off their takes. So I was sent an audio clip of a take when they was talking about the hate that Angel Reese receives. And I listened to that take and I said, oh, okay, now I get it. So what I want to do for you guys, I want to play you a clip that was sent to me from one of my subscribers. And I want y'all to take a listen to what Lexi Brown had to say, followed up what Gilbert Arenas had to say. And now it's all starting to make sense. Pay attention. Oh, college. It's very Mm -hmm. odd. So, oh, Lexi, I ask you, do people really hate Angel Reese because of her her on-court play style, or is there something deeper at, at play here? Um, honestly, I have no idea. It's weird. I've already told y'all, the hate that women's basketball players get, specifically black basketball players, no, it's weird. The comments that she, that she gets has nothing to do with basketball. She, 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 she beat, herself. she beat the person that everyone gave the crown to last year. That's what she's hated about. The girl that was going around taunting everybody. Uh, you got South Carolina, the girl about to shoot. She's waving her hand, turning around. They, but you, that's Caitlyn doing it. Uh, Caitlyn. So you had Caitlyn as this 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 Michael Jordan figure last year, and she got beat. The person who beat her threw her own medicine in her face. And the people who were supporting Caitlyn didn't like it. <laughs> She, Angel Reese rubbed the shit in everybody's face, and that's what it was. But I took the shit, it's still, it's still, <laughs> and everybody's like, been, you can't do that to us. It's still been extremely excessive. But that's all it is. But yeah. not from, not even from that fan base either. It's like random, random people. Hey, that don't even give a shit about That don't even care hey, about women's basketball, don't care about Kaylin Clark, don't care about Iowa, don't care about, they care about college Kaylin. basketball. Do not throw the stone. And hide your hand. <laughs> do not do that. And then you better not come over here talking about, oh, it, you threw it at me first. We playing that victim. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, don't do I don't do that. Don't think... do that because you know we live in a society where this is a pen. 
Now, you heard what Lexi Brown and um, Gilbert Arenas had to say. Also, Rashad McCants threw that last phrase in there. Don't throw the rock and then hide your hand. Now, Lexi Brown, like I said, she really don't stand on business. She can be flip-flapping back and forth. But Gilbert Arenas, man, put some clarity to this, man. He made, he made perfect sense on this. Because this is where all the hate and dislike is for Angel Reese. is because of that national championship game. Everybody crowned Caitlin Clark the next bet. Um, big thing and what did Angel Reese do in the national championship on the biggest stage in women's collegiate college basketball she upset Caitlin Clark now she's suffering from that and it's like Lexi Brown did say it's nothing about basketball either you know what I'm saying they just viciously started attacking Angel Reese for no reason just because she beat Caitlin Clark on the basketball court. So now everything is being personalized. And I want to share with you guys some of the, you know, little transcripts that I came across on some of the things that Angel Reese said and also, you know, what her mother said. So let's take a look at that. Angel Reese's mother unveils racist messages on her daughter's looks and skills from Caitlin Clark supporters. After the Tigers defeated the Hawkeyes in, you know, that last year's title game, Reese became well known for her you can't see me talks to toward Clark, who had been doing the same taunt earlier in the tournament, which went viral among basketball fans. Angel Reese to LSU basketball star who led her team to the NCAA Women's National Championship, you know, it's two years ago now, said the last time she lived without drama as a fallout from winning the title led to death threats and hate speech hurled at her. She said, I've been through so much, she told the reporters during the post-game news conference. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times, death threats. I've been sexualized and I have been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every time. So basically, you know, to hear that from Angel Reese, I know you guys probably heard it when she had the post game press conference after she won the national championship game, even the year that she got bumped out by Iowa. She came to the post game press conferences and she was emotionally and she talked about it, but now I'm starting to put it all together. Like this has nothing to do with basketball outside of the sense that Angel Reese defeated Caitlin Clark. But one thing is one thing. Let's keep the main thing the main thing. Let's keep it about basketball. Why do these Caitlin Clark fans think they have to go on a vicious attack on Angel Reese? for what she's displaying on the basketball court. And I think it's because they feel like she's upsiding their, what they call white Jesus, Jesus. And these Caitlin Clark fans can't accept that, that Angel Reese has been a competitor all her life. And she has taken down their so-called queen. And now she is being placed in this villain role like she said she would accept and she has no problem with it. She said, if y'all want me to be the villain, I will play the villain role. And she's carried it well. And her play on the court is speaking for itself. And that's what bothers these Caitlin Clark fans. This is why these Caitlin Clark fans go on these vicious attacks on Angel Reese outside of basketball. And I just find it kind of crazy that I never really heard that clip from Gil's Arena because I really don't watch Gil's Arena like that. But I'm glad one of my subscribers sent that to me. So, you guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. I mean, the secret's out now. Now we know why these Caitlin Clark fans don't like Angel Reese. 
But you guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you got your post notifications on so you know every time Simply Ball Drop drops another hot banger. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. That's all, folks.